Hey guys, what's up? My name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video here on my channel. So yesterday the Ocelot XA21 was released into GTA Online, the one supercar we've all been waiting for now for a while. In fact, it's been over two months since the gunrunning update was first released and since this vehicle was first found and leaked from the update files. So at last, it's now available to purchase, but unfortunately, there are a number of things with this vehicle worth noting before you buy it. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing 7 things wrong with the Ocelot XA21. But just before we do begin, I want to point out, I'm not saying the XA21 is not a good car, because it is. I personally love it, I think it looks awesome, it has loads of cool customization options, and it's perfect for racing. But there are a few things, some small, some big, which kind of let this car down. So let's get straight into things and start things off with its price. Now as I explained briefly in a video yesterday, the XA21 is the fourth most expensive supercar in GTA Online. Just behind the XAT, the Tyrus and the RE-7B. And at a price of $2,375,000, you'd hope to be getting the best car, if not one of the best cars in the game. And although in some areas it is, in others it's rather lacking. Which starts us off with the first thing wrong with the XA21, its top speed. The XA21 isn't even in the top 10 for its speed, it's actually the 15th fastest car in the supercar category, actually putting it directly in the middle of the supercar category for its top speed. Now thankfully its acceleration makes up for its lack of speed, with it being one of the fastest off the line. But obviously in those straight line race situations, you won't have the advantage with this car. And with it being significantly more expensive than most other cars in the supercar category, with some being half the price and having a higher top speed, this is definitely a little disappointing. Thankfully though, the car, like I said, is one of the fastest in the terms of its acceleration and is one of the best for cornering and handling. The car is super grippy, which allows you to throw it into corners without having to worry about sliding out or not being able to make certain turns because it's so planted. There's even a customization at the custom shop that supposedly gives you some additional traction, not that it's needed, but this increased traction apparently is added when you fit a custom engine block to the car. As you guys can see if you take a close look at the traction stats in the gameplay, selecting any engine option increases the level of traction. However, this is not true, changing the engine does not actually provide any additional traction despite what it says. It is simply just a mistake made. I'm sure you guys aren't too bothered, but in case you spotted this and thought you were getting some additional traction, you don't actually get anything at all, there is no difference made no matter what engine you select. Now speaking of the custom engine blocks, with the XA21 you of course have the option to change the engine completely, either fitting a V8 or a V12 if you want to. The question though I've seen a lot over the past 24 hours or so since the car was first released into GTC Online, does selecting a different engine make any difference in the terms of its performance, its speed or the sound? The answer is no however. You might expect some form of difference by selecting a particular engine, but there is no difference whatsoever no matter which engine block you choose. The car will perform the exact same, it will have the same acceleration, the same top speed, and it will also sound the exact same too. So don't select an engine based upon the performance or sounds that you might expect, just select the one which you prefer to have based upon their cosmetic appearance. Now something which really bothers me about the XA21 are the wheels. The wheels are really awesome looking, but annoyingly, just down to how the game works, it is not possible to change the wheel colour. When you try to do so, it just says you can't change the colour of stock wheels. And it's not like Rockstar couldn't enable this option, allowing us to change the wheel colour. Why they haven't is a mystery. Fortunately though, you can use the eye through glitch, which allows you to change the grey sections on the wheel to whichever colour you want. Now again, I briefly explained this in a video yesterday, but in case you guys didn't watch that video or you're not too sure what I'm referring to, basically if you want to change the colour of the stock wheels, just select a random set of custom wheels, 
Then choose the color which you want to have and then back out of the custom shop. Then load the iFruit app on your mobile device and reselect the stock wheels and then place the order. Then go back into the custom shop in game and you'll then be given the option to process the app order, which will refit the stock wheels, but this time they'll now have the color which is selected previously on the custom wheels. So it is possible to get a wheel color, but you have to use a glitch. There's no option available in-game from standard which allows you to do this. Now something else which you can't change the color of is the accent color in the car itself. Now with most cars, which have more than one trim color on the interior, there'll be the option to change the dashboard color and then the trim color, or the accent color. But unfortunately, with the XA21, there is only one option which allows you to change the color of the dashboard. It's not possible to change the accent color, which is white, from standard. Using mods though, it is possible to change this, which just goes to show you the accent color has been set, but for some reason Rockstar hasn't given us this option online in the custom shop. Now as for this next issue with the XA21, I won't rant and rave about it for too long, I promise, but the rear license plate really bugs me, simply because it's stretched, it's out of place, and the aspect ratio is just wrong. And weirdly, this is supposedly intentional. Rockstar made the plates look like this on purpose. And supposedly the reason for this are so the plates give the European look, because the car is based upon a Jaguar. But even so, they aren't the right size or shape for that. Finally, as for the seventh issue with the car, this one's actually pretty funny. I'm not really too sure how many of you guys have a personal storage bay in your mobile operation center instead of a vehicle workshop. So this is something which you guys would have even thought about doing, but if you do have one and you take the XA21 inside to store it, the scissor doors are no more. They no longer work. As you guys can see in the gameplay, the doors now open like regular cards. For some reason, going inside of the mobile operation center causes a glitch or bug, which I'm guessing isn't intentional, but it now gives the XA21 regular doors and just removes that scissor door feature. Now weirdly, other cars in GTA Online which also have scissor doors don't do this in the storage bay. It only affects the XA21. And the reason for this might possibly be down to the fact that when Rockstar was developing this car, initially this car may have had regular doors. But at the last minute, maybe Rockstar changed it out for scissor doors. That's my only guess though, I'm not really too sure. But as you guys can see, when you leave your mobile operation center, if you leave the doors open upon doing so, it will then transfer these regular doors outside, but it's only temporary. Anyway, but there we go then guys. With that being said, those are the seven things wrong with the XA21. Nothing too major, I guess, just some small kind of annoying things that could easily be solved with a few tweaks just to improve the car overall. Like I said, the XA21 is a great car, but for its price, I'm not too sure you can consider it great value for money. If the car was under $2 million, then maybe. But with that being said, let me know your thoughts and feelings about the XA21. Do you guys like it, or do you guys know of anything else wrong with the car worth sharing? So if so, let me know by leaving a comment. It would also be greatly appreciated if you guys could drop a like on this video, as it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I recommend that you do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.